Hello, guys, lady. Welcome back to our new book, Chapter 41. Why do rich people go bankrupt? I often hear people say, when I make a lot of money, my money problem will be over. In reality, no money problem would just be beginning. One of the reasons so many newly rich people suddenly go broke is because they use their old money habits to handle no money problem. In 1977, I started my first big business, which were my nylon and velcro software wallet business. The asset created was bigger than the people who created it. It lost the asset a few years ago, a few years later, I created another asset that grew rapidly, and again the asset got bigger than the people who created it. Again, I lost the asset. It took the third business for me to learn what my rich dad had been guiding me to learn. My poor dad was shocked at my financial gut and up and downs. He was a loving father, but it pained him to see me on the top of the world one minute and in gutter the next. But my rich dad was actually happy for me. He said after my two big creation, a disaster, most millionaires lose three company before they win big. It took you only two company. The average person has ever lost the business. That is why 10% of people control 90% of money. After my stories about making million and losing million, I am often asked an important question. Why do rich people go bankrupt? I offer some of the following possibility and all personal experience. Reason number one, people who have grown up without money have no idea how to handle a lot of money. To make money is often as big a problem as not enough money. If a person is not trained to handle large sum of money or does not have proper financial advisor, then chances are very strong and they will either start the money away in the bank or just lose it. As my rich dad said, money does not make you rich. In fact, money has the power to make you both rich and poor. There are billions of people each day who brew that fight. More have some money, but they spend it only to get poorer or greater in debt. The problem again stems from people receiving money and then buying liability. They think they are assets. I am certain that in the next few years, many of today young millionaires will be financial stuck, struggle because of the lack of money management skill. Reason number two, why people come into money, the occasional euphoria is like a trap that boosts your spirit, my dad that said. When the money high heat, people feel more intelligent when in fact they are becoming more stupid. They think they own the world and immediately go out and start spending money like King Tut with Tom of Golds. My tax strategist once said to me, I have been an advisor to many rich men just before they go broke after making a ton of money. They tend to do three things. One, they buy a jet and big boat or big boat. Two, they go on the safari, and three, they divorce the wife and marry a much younger woman. When I see that happening, I begin, I begin preparing for the class. Again, my like reason number one: they buy liability and divorce an asset, which then create a liability. Then they marry a new liability. They now have two or more liability. Reason number three. The hardest thing for many people is to say no to people who love when they ask to borrow money. This has not happened to me. But I have seen many family and friendship break up when one person suddenly becomes rich, as Reed Dad said. A very important skill in becoming rich is to develop the ability to say no to yourself and to people who love. The people who come into money and begin Buying boat and big houses are not able to say no to themselves, let alone their family members. They end up further in debt just because they suddenly had a lot of money. 
not only do people want to borrow money from you when you have money, but banks want to lend you more money. That is why people say, bank lend you money when you don't need it. If things go bad, not only do you have trouble collecting the loans you make to friends and relatives, but the bank when they have trouble collecting from you. This is number four. The person with money suddenly become an investor with money, but without education and experience. Again, this go back to read that statement that when people suddenly have money, they think their financial IQ went up or so when in fact it has gone down. When a person has money, they suddenly begin receiving phone calls from stockbrokers, real estate broker, and investment broker. Read that also had a joke about broker. The reason they are called broker is that they are broker than you. My apology to broker who are offended, but I think my read that stockbroker is the one who told the joke to him originally. I had a friend of my family who came into $350,000 inheritance in less than months, and all that money was lost in the stock market. Not to the market, but to the broker that jumped that churn and suddenly the person who believed that money made him more intelligent. For those who do not know what churning means, it is when the broker advises the person to buy and sell regularly. So the broker makes the commission on it buy and sell. This practice is frowned upon and severe fine a levy if brokerage houses find their broker involved in this practice, yet it does happen. Just because you meet the qualification of a credit investor, simply a person with money, does not mean you know anything about investing. You will see many companies that invest actively and individuals do. When there are a lot of money in market, many companies run around, around by any other company they hope an asset in the, in the industry. This is a fund called M&A or a merger or acquisition. The problem is that many of these new acquisitions can become liability of the big company that bought a small company and up in financial trouble. This is number five. The fear of losing increasing. Many times a person with poor person outlook on money has lived life being terrified of being poor when so the sudden well heat the fear of being poor does not diminish. In fact, it increases. Increases. Uh, my friend, who is psychologist for fresh professional, their trader say, "You get that. You get what you fear. That is why so many professional investors have psychologists as part of their team. At least that is why I have one. I have feel like everyone else." Okay, guys. Thank you so much for listening to the audio book. See you next audio. Don't forget to subscribe in order to get more videos easily. Thank you.